It's been nearly a year since the Assassin's Creed Netflix series was announced, and I would imagine it would start production soon and we would get it sometime within the next few years. As I'm sure many of you know, Assassin's Creed's first attempt to make it on our TV screens was with a movie back in 2016 that wasn't terrible, but it certainly wasn't great and wasn't too well received. However, the movie had a lot of potential and did a lot of things right, so if they can take what they learned from that movie and adapt it into a live action television series, then I'm hopeful for what a show like this could be. Now I hate to just draw comparisons already, but I'm hoping Assassin's Creed takes inspiration from another popular video game turned Netflix live action series, The Witcher. I don't really talk about TV much on my channel, but I love The Witcher series, and if we can get something as high quality and entertaining as that, but for Assassin's Creed, then we're in business. Naturally though, the first thing I'm wondering about when it comes to this series is when it's going to take place and who the main characters are going to be. Will it be like The Witcher and follow a protagonist who's story we already know, or will it follow a new character? If they were to base this show off an already existing character in the series, I would imagine it would probably be Ezio. But what's more likely is we'll get another new character like how they made Aguilar for the movie. I imagine we'll get a new modern day and past assassin protagonist. However, what they also have the opportunity to do is if they do go with a new character, depending on the time period, they could have some cameos from other Assassin's Creed protagonists from the games and give some of those characters proper clothes. Closure. Cough, cough. Now for this series, I would like to see a modern day storyline. I mean, it's just too important and integral to the AC story to just not include it, but I still hope they give a majority of the focus to the past storyline and have the modern day parts come up every now and again, similar to how it is in the games. The modern day was actually the focal point of the AC movie and that was good. However, the past storyline in the movie was extremely lackluster. Most people associate Assassin's Creed with the actual assassin in the hood in the past. I think it would be great if they first established the modern day and modern day characters, show up Stergo, explain the animus perhaps for those who have never played an AC game before, and then return to it every now and again, and then obviously it would play a big role again towards the finale. The modern day main character would be tasked with something similar to Desmond in AC1, like having to relive his assassin ancestors' memories, find the apple for Abstergo or something. I mean, if they really wanted to, they could even do Desmond, Altair, Ezio, and Connor even even for this show, if that's what they really wanted to. Have Desmond work for Abstergo to relive Altair's memories in season one, and then season two, he escapes and relives Ezio's memories to train for the fight against the Templars. And then in season three, he relives Connor's memories and prevents the end of the world. It would be really cool to see those stories in live action format, but again, as cool as it would be to see that, I'm kind of hoping for something new and original. And if they were to do the stories of the game, I would imagine they would change it up a little so it's not the exact same story, and I really don't see them doing something like that. At the very least though, I'm hoping this story is actually about the Assassin's Creed and isn't just some dumb Viking or demigod show that vaguely connects to the lore. If they're going to make a live action series, then at the very least, they need to go deep into the lore and expand upon the overall story and history of the Creed. The reason I'm a little worried about this is because the showrunner for the series, Jeb Stewart, has worked on a lot of Viking live action series. And knowing Ubisoft, they'd probably think that a Viking show would appeal to a broader audience on Netflix that don't know anything about the Assassin's Creed series, especially after the success of Valhalla. I think another possibility for this show is that it will change cast and time periods each season, which sounds kind of cool in concept, but I honestly hope that's not the case. I'd rather them take their time to build one narrative and develop and grow specific characters rather than change everything every season. You're just bound to have a season where everyone hates the story and new characters. It may work for them in video games, but I highly doubt that'll work in television. Not to mention, I'm sure it'll confuse a lot of people. Something else I would hope this show learned from the movie is the amount of violence and the rating. A PG-13 rated movie for Assassin's Creed just makes no sense. The games are rated M anyway, so chances are nobody cares about trying to make Assassin's Creed more family friendly. It's not family friendly, Ubisoft. I'm sorry, it just isn't. So this show definitely needs to be rated MA like The Witcher, and actually have the violence and brutality fitting for Assassin's Creed and stay true to the games. I'm sure they're probably worried that they'll have less viewership somehow, but again, just look at The Witcher. This audience would definitely watch an MA-rated show. And of course, something I feel is going to be a big focal point of the show and is extremely important for a series like this is the action and fight scenes. If the show doesn't have good fight scenes, then you shouldn't even bother making an Assassin's Creed series. Fast-paced, flashy action sequences like the games are exactly what a show like this needs, and I also hope they take a few things from 
the games like stealth or different tools and weapons like the phantom blade or something i understand that this series isn't going to be just made for assassin's creed fans they are going to try to appeal to new audiences as well but some references cameos or easter eggs to the games would be much appreciated the time period for the past storyline is also really important and most likely where the show will spend the most time so preferably it's at least sometime after 1100 ad when the hidden ones become the assassin's creed i mean i would hope it's about the assassin's creed at least since you know that's the name of the show but not even the games understand that sometimes so Preferably, I think I'd like to see this show take place sometime during medieval times. It doesn't have to be the Third Crusade like AC1, but sometime in that era with knights and kings and all that, I think it would be a really fun time period for the show. Or they could even do something like World War One, which I think would actually be a really cool setting for an Assassin's Creed game as well, but I doubt they do such a recent time period. Whenever they choose to set it in though, at the very least, I hope it's after the Hidden Ones become the Assassin's Creed in 1100, as long as it's actually about the Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed and takes place in an important point of history, then it's fine with me. That's about it for what I want from this series. If you guys have anything to add or something else you'd like to see in this Netflix series, leave it down in the comments. I'm really curious what you guys would like to see from the series as well. And if you're new here, I make a lot of AC related content, so consider checking out some of my previous videos and subscribing for more in the future. Other than that, thanks for watching everybody and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.